Hey guys, it's Jess here from Hunt Shack. I've got some skins out of the freezer from some deer that we hunted earlier in the year and I'm gonna tan them up here at home. So I thought I'd take you guys through the process and give you a quick rundown of what we do when we tan our skins. So I'm gonna mix up this brine solution in a big bucket that I've got here. It's like a big bin, big plastic bin. Fill it with water about halfway. I've got a couple of skins that I wanna put in there. So I'm gonna fill it about halfway and then just put a couple of kilos of salt in there until I can't mix any more in. <laughs> fill up the water with as much salt as you possibly Mom, can get in there. It's gonna dissolve. The salt in? Yep, go on. We also put a little bit of metho in there as well, methylated spirits, just to kill, kill off any of the remaining bacteria. This is one of the parts that they can actually help with because tanning chemicals are quite dangerous so you don't want your kids involved in too much of it but this part they can get their hands into. Just give them a stir every couple of hours if you can. That should just help to get them to unfold and to defrost fully um, but otherwise you can just leave them to sit in there for as long as it takes to defrost. It shouldn't take more than 24 hours though um, in that salt solution so I'll leave these here and we'll come back when they're defrosted and we can start the pickling process. Now the pickle is an acidic solution and this starts to break down some of the protein that's in the skin itself so that you end up with a nice soft skin after it's tanned. The citric acid that we use to pickle the skins, it's just that one that we've got. It really doesn't matter, citric acid is all citric acid. We did find though that if you try and buy it from a supermarket like Coles or Woolworths, it's quite expensive. If you go to something like a, a Whole Foods shop or a, um, one of those natural food stores, you can buy it for a lot cheaper. And this 250 gram bag was about $3. For something like a deer, you wanna leave the skin in the pickling solution for at least three days. Um, anything small like it, you wanna leave it in there for a minimum of about 48 hours, up to three days. For big skins and big thick skins, you wanna leave them in there for a little bit longer. So you're looking at your four to five day mark. Now the pickle is a very strong acid, so you do need to make sure that you neutralize it before you tip it down the drain. Um, otherwise your council will probably be quite upset at you. So we're gonna tip some bicarb in here, leave it until it stops fizzing and then we'll tip it down the drain and we'll work on neutralizing those skins as well. Now the neutralizing solution is just a mix of water and bicarbonate soda and that just neutralizes the acid that has been on the skin so that the tanning chemicals can actually adhere to the proteins in the skin. Whenever you put your skins in a solution, I just like to grab one end of it and just slowly dip it in there just to make sure that all of the skin gets covered and you don't have any folded over pieces or anything like that in the actual solution itself. It's really easy for these skins to stick together on the skin side um, and it opens you up for all sorts of trouble like hair slip and things like that. The solution doesn't cover it properly. This will only stay in the neutralizing solution for 15 minutes. So you need to set a timer because it is very precise. You don't wanna have it in there for much longer than that. Um, otherwise it can really mess up what the end product that you get and make it quite tough and hardened. After you've left the hide in the neutralizing solution for between 15 and 20 minutes, you wanna get it out of there and rinse it off. So these are the two bottles that come in your leader tanning kit. One is the leather oil and that will not go on until after you've tanned it um, and you're drying the skins out. And this one is the one we want right now, which is the tanning formula. So you just mix it up with water and salt. It gives you all the directions and the measurements on the back. Mix it up in a big bucket, put the skins in there, dip them just like I showed you with the um, pickle as well to make sure the skin is properly covered. I'd come back and stir them again probably once every 24 hours if you can. Um, otherwise, just as much as you can over the time that they are sitting in the solution, just to make sure that you're not having more solution sit on one part of the skin and make sure that you've not got any part of the skin that's not covered at all by the solution. So it'll stay in there for between three and 10 days before it's done. And then you can bring your skins out, you can rinse them off and you can dry them. We have um, big plywood boards that we've made up to pin our skins out on and actually dry. Um, we just stand them up in the shed with a big fan facing towards them. That gets them dry within a couple of days. Um, we like to make sure that they're about 90% dry before we put the oil on it to soften the skin. For our bigger skins, we just grabbed two plywood boards from the hardware store, got these planks of wood which we just had lying around the house um, and screwed them together so that we made one nice big board to pin our skins out on. You just want to lay the hide out hair side down on your board and then take some small screws just like that, uh, screws, some small nails just like that and just nail them in around the very edges of the skin. 
probably every three or four inches apart. You just want to make sure that it's all pulled tight. It's great if you can get two people working at this stage because you can kind of pull in opposite directions to make sure that it's stretched out really evenly. So once you've got them pinned out on the board and sat up somewhere where they can get some good airflow and all of the liquid and stuff can drain off them, um, you just want to leave them there until they're just damp to the touch. These are still quite wet. Um, just because we gave them a wash after them after having them in the tanning solution so once they're kind of just damp to the touch not actually wet that's when you want to come back out and put your um, tanning oil on them to make sure that the skin dries nice and softly the leader tanning oil that we use actually works really really well um, we don't we haven't had to break a skin yet um, they've just dried really soft so occasionally we do run a bit of sandpaper over them like really fine grit sandpaper over them just to give them that kind of suede effect on the back but that's about it and you guys are done you've got a nice hide that you can put on the floor in your home you can give to someone as a gift I hope you guys have enjoyed this little tutorial. I hope that it helps. Um, we find that, especially with animals like fallow deer and chittle deer and things like that, it's easy just to do at home. It's quite rewarding to do yourself as well and know that the things that are in your home are something that you've hunted and that you've actually created yourself. So I hope you guys try it out. And if you do need to have any questions or need any other tips, just let us know in the comments and we'd be more than happy to help.